I'm Jen Cardinal. I'm a first grade teacher in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm so excited to share with you, Do Frogs Drink Hot Chocolate? This book is a nonfiction informative text that builds on background of what children understand about how we keep ourselves warm. And then it goes into sharing about different types of animals and how they use their superpowers to keep themselves warm in the cold. There are big bolded words after you share a little background about what we understand as how we keep ourselves warm. Like, do we drink hot chocolate? Do frogs drink hot chocolate? No, and there's a big bolded no on the next page that every student is able to read, which is super exciting for them. They were ready to look for the yes and the no. And there was a page about butterflies. And one of my students said, wait, butterflies don't heat themselves by sunbathing. And it was so cute because then he looked and saw the big word yes. And then he was learning more about that. And he wanted to then go to our library and check out a book about butterflies to find out more, which was super cool. We also use this in our nonfiction informative writing. The great intro, the question, getting you excited for what they're going to be teaching you about was such a great way to help my students understand that you can make that intro, that great lead into your writing as well. It's just a great tool, a great resource for reading with their partners. They feel confident when they're able to read this book together. They know some of the words that pop out at them, which is so wonderful. We're also talking about animal superpowers in science. So the connection to the squirrel using its tail as a blanket to keep it warm was was a great connection to what we're working on in science and understanding why these certain animals live where they do and why they need to have special things on their bodies to protect them. The language, the vocabulary in learning about different types of animals like tuatara. We had no idea what a tuatara was. We spent an entire lesson looking up the tuatara, looking up New Zealand, finding out more information about this species, which was really exciting because I don't think any of the students or I knew what that even was. So that was pretty cool too. Many students have been using this book as kind of like another mentor text to show how they can add details to their own animal books if that's what they chose to do. We also do love to do like directed drawings to kind of help us. And I noticed other students kind of directing each other with how they drew certain pictures, which is so fun for community building also, getting that creative side too. Do Frogs Drink Hot Chocolate is a great addition to your science lessons, your social studies, your reading mentor text, your informational writing. It's such a fun book for students to get excited about and be able to read and feel empowered to be able to share with their friends and make connections. You want to make sure to add this book to your classroom and your home library.